Okay, so this is gonna be a review on the Ishin QX95 from Banggood. It only cost me 65 US dollars to purchase mine. My buddy bought a DSM2 receiver version for, I believe, uh, 70 US. If you're planning to fly this indoors, I recommend getting the Hubson X4 prop guards because this guy has way too much power and you're gonna be hitting the roof and the walls and you'll be breaking a lot of props flying indoors. If you haven't noticed, I installed a 3D printed mount for the camera. It's offset by 20 degrees. This was from Thingiverse by YoShop. It's called QX95 Tilted Camera Support. It's a really good mount. All you gotta do is um, print it out and put double-sided tape. I like to use foam double-sided tape underneath the camera and the mount. And then what you wanna do is put a small zip tie across all of this and it is super sturdy compared to the stock version. I highly recommend getting this. Also, when I got the QX95, the FR Sky version, I had the receiver actually mounted on top and it was simply held down by a uh, double-sided tape, which I didn't find secure because I noticed after flying and crashing for a few times, the receiver actually um, came off and it ripped a wire off. So I recommend putting it underneath the cage so everything is all sleek and protected. The programmable LED lights in the back are really helpful if you're going to fly with somebody else or when you crash from a far distance. The LEDs are really nice since there's no buzzer on board. The Ranger on this guy is actually surprisingly amazing. The VTX managed to penetrate 150 meters of parking lot. Like, I was getting crystal clear video at, the, at 150 meters away in a parking lot at Ikea in the middle of the night. I was surprised by the camera lens. It's not HS1177 quality, but honestly for its size, it's it's pretty good. I highly recommend buying a few set of frames for this guy because I already broke my arm on the right side here, uh, only after having this for two weeks. But I managed to super glue this back twice and it's still going strong. But eventually you're gonna need a new frame for this guy. I think this quadcopter is perfect for anybody who wants to get into drone racing since you're you're spending like a hundred bucks for a, a kit that's already pre-built and all you need is goggles and transmitter and you, you can get the speed of a 210 size flying indoors. The only shitty part is it's handling. It can't handle sharp turns. You literally have to fly like you're trying to be cinematic. 